Greetings everyone. In this blog, we will see the importance of the geometry cleanup for FE massing. So here we have one component uh, that is the connecting rod. In first appearance, it look like very clean and ready to mess. But in reality, that is not ready to mess. Uh, this model having lots of errors and we have to see and eliminate those errors. So firstly, let me change the view from auto to topology just click on by topology and here you can see the green transparent color for the sum component and for some component we have gray color this green transparent color representing that the surfaces are making a closed loop and that closed loop of surfaces is nothing but our solid and here somehow maybe due to some error this reason is unable to generate a solid region because this may have errors likewise as we seen so you can see here we have some disconnected edges let me uh, remove this particular section and now you can see here we have a missing fillet here we have again missing surfaces intersecting surfaces and uh, this may be a uh, some extra extended extended surface so let's eliminate one by one there is one panel that is called quick edit over here and the shortcut key is f11 when you press f11 from the keyboard this panel will be appeared to you here we have the simplest example of disconnected edges there we have one surface this one is the second surface and edge the common edge of these two surfaces are not connected so what you can do you can go with this toggle tool and press mouse button first so that will be now a combined common edge if it is red that's been what this surface and this surface having two separate edges and they are not connected to each other and if you press mv1 button mouse button first and then that will convert into a green color that's mean now these two surfaces are sharing a single edge sometime if the gap between these two edges is larger than the tolerance then you are unable to toggle them so for that you may need to increase the tolerance value or you may need some more modification but here by pressing simple mv1 button you are able to modify them okay now come to this point and this fillet you can see this fillet is missing if you want to change the graphic quality then press o button from the keyboard and here change the level from 1 to 5 and now you can see the edges that previously was not smooth now they are quite smooth so again go to the same tool so here we have two options one you can use the filler method and another one is you can utilize the drag options drag one particular edge along a curve so let me try with the filler options here we have filler options and just click on one edge and a closed loop of edges will be selected likewise i'm sorry closed loop of edges free edges will be selected you can see here this 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 edge are making a closed loop of surface you have to just select them so automatically this complete closed loop will selected and you are able to recreate the missing surface here also we have similar kind of problem but there is another issue that is the this surface might be this is not an appropriate surface and you can delete this so what i can do i can go with the delete options select this surface and this surface will be delete now you have two zones this is the first zone this is the second zone you might be able to fill it using the filler options yeah we are able to fill yes we are able to fill if we are not able to fill the surface properly then again we have to split we have to make some line and we have to fill the small region likewise we have to proceed 
now you can see okay this also we have to toggle okay and we have those unnecessary splits let me remove them so of course we have a split here and you cannot unsplit this because this split is not created by you so what you can do you can toggle them again again press mb1 button and that will be convert into a small dotted blue line and that is called suppressed edge and now you can go with the node to node or node to line splitting method click on node and click on line so a beautiful split will be created over here the last and most important here this is very serious problem if you directly mess this particular region so what will be the problem see i'm selecting this surface and this whole sharp surface will be get selected and if you try to mess software may not able to mess or if even mess the surface that element those those element will be a bad quality element so reject and instead of massing it directly what you can do you have to go with the splitting again quick edit f11 and let me split this small region first node to node okay and i am releasing this point let me release release means whatever joint made software with the help of this node and edges not node point and edges that will be released so now what i can do i can select the unnecessary surface or from the quick edit panel itself you are able to delete this surface okay so now the surface is deleted uh what else i can do i can replace this point from here to here point replace point retain point so it is not working go to the reject let me create a split from this point to that point yeah now that says a uh, straight cut and let me make one more cut likewise okay delete the surface okay now i'm using the filler options before that let me go with the toggle toggle those edges yeah now i can utilize the filler options go to the filler yeah fill this region reject if the filler options not work here what you can do you can go with the surface creation and over here surface options same filler option but i'm checking these two options tangency and auto creation let me select the edges manually and now go to the fill yeah now it's look good for me again go to the quick edit and just let me toggle them toggle and just avoid this edge by toggle it again okay so now uh, that is pretty good so what what other problem we face 
this is a very sharp corner and my element will get fail on this particular region so what i can do i can split this surface likewise node to line node to line okay and here also node to line yeah that is pretty good and if you want you can avoid this particular this one this edge also okay so now you can see you have very clear crisp surface and you are able to mask this surface very easily there are lots of way of splitting and you can choose any of one you can choose any of one strategy okay let me mess this region and now you can see very pretty surface you are getting okay this surface is not fully splitted i think yeah here you can see that's why i'm selecting the one surface whole surface getting selected go to the f11 node to node node to node splitting now you can go with the f12 likewise and you can see how beautifully software able to manage the mesh quality on those regions earlier the quality was very bad uh, for better visibility of the element just go to the wireframe mode of the surfaces and now you can see how beautifully you are able to manage the quality on the particular zone earlier that was very difficult to mess thank you